Hey guys, a uh, quick rough update here. So, uh, I did actually record, and this should be going up today at some point, uh, Outbreak, The Nightmare Chronicles. The only problem is, uh, I've reformatted my computer and I've put in a new SSD, which is why the sound quality for the microphone was really bad. It's taken me ages to get it back up to the level that uh, I'm happy with. I'm hoping that this is better. Um, I do have a full-size Nintendo Switch now, which I can record games from, um, and I do intend to do that. The cats broke my Switch light a couple of weeks ago, um, and luckily my missus actually was very nice, and she bought me a new full-size Nintendo Switch, um, which is fucking fantastic, and I love this system. Uh, I always thought the PlayStation Vita was going to be my favorite system of all time. Uh, handheld system, anyway. I love that thing. But uh, I have to be honest with you. I can't bullshit you. The Nintendo Switch has beaten it. It's such an incredible little handheld system. Um, and currently, my Nintendo Switch Lite is back with Nintendo. And fingers crossed, they are going to replace it. Uh, we actually now have another switch light in the bedroom, uh, uh, a full switch in the bedroom as well. So, yeah, it's strange. We've somehow managed to have four of these things. Now, um, the next game that was meant to go up today, or technically tomorrow by the time I upload this video, was Outbreak The Nightmare Chronicles. And I did the whole game blind, I used maps, everything, I used my tablet to write out and break all the codes, it was fantastic, we had a good time. The game itself is very much poor man's Resident Evil, but you know what, I had fun with it. Um, it was an interesting game. Now, I'm going to go back through the whole game again, because it's not... It hasn't been covered a lot on YouTube, and a lot of people instantly dismiss it as a big steaming pile of dog shit, which is a little bit unfair. It's, well, <laughs> it's not great, but, you know, considering it, the game was made by one person, and uh, it's four pounds, uh, you know... You, you can't really compare it to a big AAA, triple budget uh, game. But for what I paid and for what it is, I had my fun with it. It's not a long game. Um, so I'm going to go back through it, but I have just deleted all of my videos because the sound didn't come out due to uh, OBS not being set up properly. God Damn it. Everything was fine on my recording screen. Uh, all the boxes were ticked, but there's one, one little box deep, deep in OBS's settings. So uh, I am going to have a little bit of a test and just uh, upload this, see what happens, and see if this game <laughs> and everything will record properly now. I'm almost at the end now of Mario. Well, I say that I'm almost at the end of Mario Sunshine uh, and Mario Galaxy. But man, I love the HD remaster of, of this game. It is glorious. Glorious. Because I don't have to use those stupid Wiimotes. Um, you know, the Switch is such a cool system. You can just play your games as is. Uh, and then just rip the machine out of the dock. Maybe not rip it out of the dock. Be a little bit careful with it. And off you go. Uh, also, like everyone was saying about the Wiimotes, uh, you know, oh, you can't play these games without the Wiimotes. But, I mean, hey, guess what? The, <laughs> the bloody Switch has all of the functionality of the Wiimotes built in. And it works pretty bloody well. I really can't believe quite how good this game looks. It's absolutely incredible uh, to have this kind of quality of a game on a handheld system is truly something to behold. Anyway, it's been many years since I've actually played this game, to be honest. I did start playing it on my Wii U uh, shortly before it was announced for the Switch. Right, how do we get through here? I'm almost back up to 120 stars I've got. 
195. So, happy with that. But I haven't actually played this particular galaxy for a very long time. Ah, right, okay. Over here, mister. Come on, light my fire, baby. There we go. And also, this game running at a buttery smooth 60 FPS as well. You know, on a freaking handheld system. It's ridiculous. I do like Mario. I'm a big fan. Let's get past these thwomps here. Don't want to fall into the black hole. Black hole, you're going to have a bad time. Now, one thing that I'm not looking forward to... Oh, God. Oh, God. Like that. Don't do that. Uh, one thing I, I don't really like about Mal uh, Mario Galaxy, at least the first one, is the fact that when you complete it and you get all 120 stars, you then have to go back through the game as Luigi and get all 120 stars again. Oh, you bastard. So, and one of my cats has got in here and is making a hell of a lot of mess. And noise. Right, I wonder if we can go the other way around. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. So, uh, I'm not used to playing this as well on a big TV. I haven't seen it. Well, it's not a big TV. I'm playing it on my monitor. But I haven't actually uh, played this game on a, on a big screen, should we say. I've been playing this in portable mode. And seeing it all blown up on a 1080p screen. Oh, my God. It's so sharp. Why can't I jump? Why can't I bounce off him? Like I should be able to. So this video is more of a test than anything. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's return back to the observatory. Whilst I go sort the cat out. How many are you? Oh, I see. You're both in it. One and two. There we go. Yeah, so uh, I haven't actually done this galaxy for a long time. As I said, probably the last time I played that one was when the game first came out. Uh, let's go. Let's go do one of my favorites, shall we? Now, I love. Uh, I love the seaside levels. I love the beach levels. They're so much fun, like the Beach Bowl Galaxy. Um, you've got the Water Ring Galaxy. I can't remember what it's called, to be honest. Yeah, the Loop De Loop Galaxy. You've got the honey. Oh, the Honey Hive, the Good Egg. Should we do the Good Egg? Yeah, no. Now, I've never done a Mario game uh, on my channel. Now, I actually love Mario, I love Zelda. Uh, I've never played uh, Pikmin. I love Pikmin, obviously. I've never played, um, really played a Metroid game. Uh, I did play one of them many moons ago. And I couldn't really get into it. I think it's because I came off the back of Halo 2. I think I played, the one I played was on the GameCube. Uh, but it is a game that I would like. Oh, that's a good fun level. Battle Rock Galaxy is awesome. Oh, man. You know, Mario Galaxy, there's just so much content here. And I'm enjoying running around in 1080p. It feels like I'm running it on, like, a perfect emulator. But <laughs> it, of course, is not uh, emulate. Well, actually, uh, this game is emulated, which is a bit bad. Hey, Toad. What's going on, Toad? The observatory has power again, and Bowser's hideout has been found. Mario, please save the Princess Peach and the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it in a minute, Mom. Right. Now, you have one thing that I really like about this game. Yes, we can go do the end boss. I know. Well, it's not really quite the end boss, but we have to play the game through again before we can have that simple pleasure in life. Let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Oh, this isn't the kitchen. Yes, it is. 
Right, yes, there we go. Beach Bowl Galaxy. Man, this is my favourite. Oh, you got a boy base Galaxy. Boy base is cool, but Beach Bowl's where it's at. Also, I'm finding the loading times are better as well. Uh, really happy with that. Passing. Yeah, let's do the swim test. What a fucking handheld system, though. This is uh, me and my mate, actually. Said for years, wouldn't it be cool to have an actual proper handheld system that you can dock to a TV and play it both ways? And wow. Like, the Switch system... The way I look at the Switch, you know, it really is the Wii U Pro. Because it is just a Wii U, essentially. A little bit more juice under the hood. But you can take it with you. Look how beautiful this is. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Look how lush the water is. Mario so sharp and crispy. You know, a lot of people shit on the Switch. They moan about how underpowered it is. Bruh. Bruh. Come come here. Come here, bruh. Come here. Come here. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. It's a fucking tablet. It's a tablet that can do this. What do you want? You know? Anyway, let's go for a swim. Hopefully all the audio volume and everything. And look, you even have the, the pointer, which you can use. Uh, if you're playing it handheld, you can just touch the stars. Uh, and use them that way, which is really good. Anyway, swim test. We gotta go take the golden Cooper shell. Pretty sure this is the level where you gotta go take the golden Cooper shell. Anyway, grab the star bits because why not? I'm a whore for star bits, by the way. I uh, always seem to have to take them if I can. Maybe this isn't the one with the golden shell. There's so many levels in Galaxy, you know. It's a shame Galaxy 2 is not here, but you know, the actual HD collection is not fantastic really. You know about shell swimming? It's great. You see the shell does all the swimming for you. Yes it does and it's glorious. I just wish it was used a little bit more. You're here to take the swim school? Ah oh, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah boy. This test is all about underwater shell collecting. Bring me back the gold shell and it's an automatic A grade for you. Well, Mario doesn't settle for anything less than an A grade. So... Which one of you little bastards has my shell? You do. Power of voodoo. Get out of here. Look at this. This is so much fun to just grab this shell. Oh, God. Imagine having, you know... I, I've got Mario 64 as well and I must be honest. I've never really played a whole host of Mario, uh, uh, Mario 64. Uh, I played the hell out of the 3DS version, but that wasn't really the... Um, well, it was kind of like a, a Mario 64 remix, to be honest. And I, I've got a lot of nostalgia for that game. But uh, the actual proper vanilla Mario 64, I never really played much of it. I started playing it on this and it's great. Hey, uh, bud. Hey, uh, what do you think of that? Amazing! I didn't think you'd actually be able to bring it back. Well, haha. <laughs> you don't think much of old Mario here, do you? Well then, here's a big gold medal for you. You're one of the good ones. You're genu generally, or genuinely, one of the good ones. Nice job on the test, but are you even one of your students? You're my student now, bitch. Alright, see you later, Pipsqueak. We are out of here. So, let's see if this is actually going to come out properly. Let's see if uh, we're rated to record Switch games. And I know, Nintendo's going to shaft me up the arse for this. Uh, sure, why not? Saving. Oh, and one thing as well about the gyroscope and, you know, the touchscreen controls. It's so much more accurate. Unlike the Wii, uh, the Wiimotes, I find that the gyroscope on the, on, the, on the Switch, one useful thing with it, one big thing, should I say, about it compared to the Wii U and the Wii. You know what that is? Oh, hey, friend. 
I'll tell you what that is. It works. Huh? How about that? It actually works. Yes. Oh, I still will open up the, uh, the green. Oh, have a little fly, shall we? I've unlocked the flying Mario as well. Literally just unlocked the flying Mario, which is so good. Look at this shit. I honestly, guys, I keep saying it, but I cannot believe how gorgeous this game is. And there's there's quite a few 60 FPS games as well on the old Switch, which is very impressive. Now there's all this talk of an improved Switch as well coming out at the end of the year. Uh, if it is much of an improvement, I'll get one. Ah, oh, so much fun. So much fun. And the story for this game as well is really charming. And the music is absolutely phenomenal. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm just going to talk shit about Mario. Look at this. Hey, Captain Toad. I've actually got Captain Toad's game, but I haven't played it. I've got it on the Wii U and I've got the enhanced version on the Switch. Time's up. Bowser, the fearsome leader of the Toad Brigade, is coming for you. Ah, ouch. <laughs> I think I feel a headache or maybe I'm coming down with a sniffle. The flu. Go on without me. I'd only slow you down. It's up to you to take the fight to Bowser Mario. It's always up to me. I mean, honestly, Toad. Stow that bullshit right now, mate. You're as useless as they come. Hey, bro. How's that hanging? I can just run around and play this for hours. Pew, I'm beat. You'll have to find the rest of the star power stars. Yeah. Yeah, well. There's nothing new there, is there? Right, anyway, guys. Gonna wrap this up. Uh, yeah, so that's why there might be a bit of a delay of getting the next LP up. So thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.